dolls! Welcome back to my channel. I am so grateful for all of you guys and for my YouTube channel because without this platform and this Lady Code community, I literally would not know what to do with myself during this time. So I just want to let you guys know I appreciate you guys and I hope you guys are enjoying the content that I'm putting out during this time. I have been experimenting a lot more with makeup. As you can tell, this is not your everyday Lady Code glam look. But I did go to town on Morphe.com and I just wanted to do some more like out there stuff and I feel like this is really the time to discover new products and try out new techniques and new colors and stuff that I would never do. So I'm going to be branching out of my comfort zone. As you can see this is the look that I came up with with all of the new products that I got from Morphe so let's just go ahead and go straight into my unboxing. Alright guys so the first thing I got at the top of my package is the I Got This brush set. Let's just go ahead and take it out. This has four eye brushes and they're like the perfect teeny tiny blendy fluffy brushes and I feel like I just literally can't get enough of these type of brushes. All of these brushes look so fluffy and delicious. Um, we're going to start on this side. The first one and what you can use this for would be like to add that shadow on the lower lash line or you can use it to pack on some shimmers so this will come in handy it's just not what I was looking forward to the most but I probably do need more brushes like that the next one down the line has black bristles and this looks delicious like I literally cannot wait to use it it's like really really sturdy the material and the fibers but it's just like a really nice round small blending crease brush. So this would be like what I use to go tighter on the crease with dark, darker colors. I feel like everyone needs a brush like this in their kit. And also, this is the one that I was the most excited about. It's like the mother of this little brush. It's just a little bit bigger. It has white bristles. It's super soft, which I like. I feel like the fluffier and the softer the bristles are, the more easy it is to blend pigment. So here's a closer look at that brush. And this is kind of what I would use for like my overall transition color. It's not as fluffy, but I've noticed that with all of my favorite fluffy like blending brushes, you really have to break them in. So through cleaning and through using it, they do get broken and I'm just kind of like pushing it up against my hand to like really break in that brush right now. Put some love on it so that it works and it's already starting to look a little bit more fluffy so I just want it to look really fluffy and it will diffuse the pigment everywhere. The last brush in the set is just like a nice plain old angled liner brush and this is good for brows, it's good for eyeliner and that's about it. Um, I'll probably use it for both because that's what I end up doing but since my brows are already on today I'll be using it for liner most likely. So that was the I Got This 4 piece brush set and now we're going to move on to the next one. I was really excited about this. So this is the 24A Artist Pass palette. It has 24 all access shades. We're going to go ahead and take this out together. So here's the palette. It's so cute. Oh, you guys, this is, like, amazing. I see so many colors that would match my hair. Today I'm thinking about doing a pink look. I might actually do a blue because, oh, everything looks so fun. Like, everything here looks so fun. There's this shade here that's got, like, stars in it. Um, it's just absolutely incredible. It actually does have enough up here to, like, create a solid natural look up top. But if you want to get creative and more fun, it has this whole selection down here with, like, the pinks and the blues. Like, this is going to be incredible. I literally can't wait to use this. So if you want, like, your one-stop shop eyeshadow palette, I feel like this is it. It's really got everything. The only thing it's missing is a good black. And I know, like, Lady Code, I'm always talking about looking for palettes that have, like, a good light color and a good black. But black is kind of making its way out and I feel like natural and like one tone eyeshadows are really making their way in so this is a good palette for you to stay on trend. So I feel like I'm kind of cheating in this haul because most of the money was spent on the same palette. This is the Morphe 3502 Second Nature palette. This is what I use on all of my clients. It's literally the best palette that God has ever provided for us. So I'll just open one up for you because I'm gonna save the other two for like, if I ever start working, I'll save it for my makeup clients. If not, I don't think I'll have any trouble working through it by myself. So this is the one that I'll be using on myself personally. I did do a lot of looks like when this first came out years ago. Guys, just look at this like bronze goodness, you guys. It has all the shimmers, it has like a good light color, it has like the good dark colors, it has the black. It really gives you everything you need to create a good bronzy look or a good red look, um, warm tones, brick tones, natural stuff. This is like it for you. So um, I will try to find my tutorial that I did like when I first got this palette and I'll link it down below if you want to see it in action. 
love it you guys and if you want to see some of the looks I created like photos of it um, just go to Beauty by Lady Code on Instagram because that's literally where I post all of my work with my clients and I always use that palette so with that being said since every 3500 palette is absolutely incredible I decided to get the 3503 which snuck up on me out of nowhere I don't know when they put this out I'm super late to the game but um, let's go ahead and take a look at it so here is the palette it's got that neon green because that had a moment last year it has like really nice warm pinks it has corals it's basically like a twin of the 3502 with a couple tweaks in it so for comparison here's the two side by side so it has a lot of the same shades but it also has some new ones so I'm really excited to try it and maybe create something unique with that new palette and the last one is the new Jaclyn Hill Volume 2 palette and I don't know how new it is because I have like been off the radar when it comes to new product but here is a closer look at the palette you can see how gorgeous it is it's literally like every girl's makeup dream come true and this is like a super duper lady coat approved palette because it has your black that I always love it has your light 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 color and it has all this like fun vibrant stuff in between it even has some yellow Guys, this is going to be so much fun. Um, I'm seeing a lot of like colors from her vault that she did a while back. I feel like it's just like all of them combined into one palette. So this is going to be really fun. And with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and do an eye look. So I really want to use these two palettes because I'm really trying to do like a pink look. I don't know where the look's going to take me, but we'll just start there. We're going to start with the pinks. Um... So I'm going to go ahead and start by baking under my eyes to catch any fallout. And I'm going to go into the Jaclyn Hill palette. I'm going to use um, Feeling Myself to start with. It's a little risky, but I'm going to do it. And the brush I'm using is that new um, eye brush. It's that fluffy big one. And it's perfect for using like that first like overall broad application. So far, so good. It's alright, it's not the best, I'm not blown away by the pigment or the formula, but for what you're paying for it, I think it works and I think I can make it work. I don't know if it's the brush or the palette that's like trying me right now, but it's not like the worst. Like we can work with it. So now I'm going into the 24A Artist palette and I'm using that smaller brush because we're going to go tighter into the crease with this pink shade. I'm so excited to use it. And this palette has a mirror on it, so I'm excited to use that. And let's see what this neon does for us. Oh my god, do you guys see how neon and vibrant that shade is? Oh my god, I'm so excited. Um, there is a ton of fallout, you guys. Like, I don't know if I can recover from this. I'm gonna try, but um, the color is worth it. The payoff is incredible. And this is that little tiny brush from that eye set that I used before. You guys, this is what pigment looks like. I am obsessed. I'm so happy. This is like exactly what I wanted. This is the look that I had in mind. I hope I don't fuck it up because I love where it's going right now. But when I get too excited, I always end up ruining my looks. You guys, this is amazing. Okay, I'm going to stop freaking out. Let's see, what do we want to do? Let's go to this flat guy, um, the flat brush that I first took out. And I'm going to do my lower lash line stuff, I think. Um, and we're going to start with this one. It's Indio Whoa. I'm just gonna go ahead and line like that lower lash line right now just to like get that started and the payoff of this formula is like 10,000 times better than the Jaclyn Hill one like do you see how easy that was to just get that pigment on it's like almost too much I was not ready yeah it's like almost too pigmented like I was not planning on that much pigment but it's cute I'm gonna go ahead and balance out that bottom line with the top so I went into the max volume pink color and I'm just gonna go ahead and go tighter into my lower lash line so right here I don't know if you can see it on the resolution but there's like little stars in it I'm gonna do something a little bit creative with the stars so I'm gonna go ahead and take one star off with some tweezers I'm gonna just lay it right here where there's still some like unblended shadow and I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side this is harder than getting your eyeshadow even I swear Okay, so while we have all that going, I'm going to go ahead and take this little brush again, going into that super neon color front row, and I'm going to tap over that star with this pigment. I'm trying to get like a stencil look, and this might fail miserably, but you know what? We're in this together. I just want to like experiment and try new stuff. I like where this is going, so I'm just going to do like a little bit more highlighting and stuff. Going back into all access, and I'm going to put it on my lids. 
you guys that is pigment like I did not know what pigment was before and now I know okay so I kind of just like carved out like the crease a little bit I went in the middle and then I went up and over to like carve out the crease and I left this side open so what I'm gonna do is go back into Jaclyn okay so to highlight the inner corners because the color in this palette's a little more champagne color I want like more white I'm actually gonna use surprise surprise the matte white color here it's called certified I'm gonna just use that matte on the um what is this thing called it's like right outside your tear duct by like your nose contour and I just like highlighted that inside area it looks good I'm just gonna pull it all together with this fluffy brush it has a little bit of that peachy color left over um, and blending okay for my liner I want to keep it lashy so I'm just gonna do a little tiny tight line let's do let me see what Jacqueline's got to offer let's see okay so we're gonna do crazy right here it's just like a really deep deep um burgundy color and i'm using that liner brush from that eye set just to like put it on my lash line so that my lashes will blend better because i want this look to be lashy so like not the typical instagram so now we're just gonna brush off that fallout and the bake and i'm really nervous to like check on the stars because i feel like it's just gonna be a lost cause but I'm gonna go ahead and pop those stars off right now and see if it did anything exciting um nope they just kind of look like I missed a spot let me just fill that in real quick and I'll be right back I kind of feel like I ruined my whole look with those little stars it just looks really awkward I was really looking for like a cool effect but um there's a lot of things in retrospect that I would have done differently like I probably would have put on like a concealer white shadow put the star on top and then packed the pink pigment so that everything looks more defined um but that will be a whole nother video so we all make mistakes you know what let's just have fun let's learn by making mistakes and let's move right along so i just want a little bit more on the lower lash line so i'm gonna take a moment it's a shimmery like purpley color and i'm just gonna start on my outer corners and just kind of like deepen that a little bit to make my eyes look more open Um, I literally don't see anything. Let me go darker. I'm gonna use Good Place. It's like a darker shimmer. I just need more. Come on, Jacqueline. I barely see anything, like... Okay, so I'm just getting ready for my mascara, and while we do that, let's talk about... Um, what I would totally skip on, I don't think the Jaclyn Hill palette really cut it for me. Like, I was expecting way more pigment, especially after trying that 24A palette, which, like, really did all the work for this look. Um, really expected more from Jaclyn Hill, but you know what? She's going through it, and she's been going through it, so let's be nice to her and support our fellow female entrepreneurs. Ever since I watched this video of Scott Barnes doing Tati's makeup, I actually push back on my lashes when I do mascara, and it's, like, life-changing. The lashes I'm using today are Beauty Queen from the Lady Code Shop. I feel like they give that perfect, wide-open look. They do have a little cat eye shape so that they make your eyes look a little bit more long and, for me, a little bit more open. And again, these effects totally depend on your eye shape. But for me, since I have smaller eyes and they're almond shape, this cat eye flare really makes my eyes just look so much bigger and more open. Alright ladies, so those were all of the products that I got in my Morphe haul and this is the final look with my Beauty Queen lashes. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you want to see more hauls, go ahead and let me know. I did place a big Sephora order for a product that people people always ask me about so I'm probably gonna do a video on that soon um, with that being said please stay safe and just a reminder I am still doing a ton of giveaways on my Instagram story so if you don't follow me already go ahead and follow at Lisa Opie on Instagram and check out my stories every once in a while because I do give away tons and tons of makeup and gift cards so go ahead and let me know which product that you want to see me do like a full eye look on next because i do want to dig into the 3503 palette and i still want to do a lot more with this palette because it was so much fun so let me know what you want to see next and i'll see you guys in my next video